first-term city councillor Rajni Agarwal is facing a substantial penalty recommended by the city's integrity commissioner. It's for a reported violation that hasn't yet been disclosed, but the potential punishment will be discussed at council next Monday night. It's recommended that Agarwal's council pay be suspended for 30 days. More details are expected tomorrow when the integrity commissioner's full report should be revealed. Council isn't required to follow the recommendation and will ultimately vote Monday whether or not to accept it. Agarwal wasn't available for an interview today, but she insists the Integrity Commissioner's report doesn't tell the full story. City Council has pushed back its decision on a proximity principle for high-level nuclear waste in the region. It came after a demonstration in front of City Hall organized by those who oppose the transportation of nuclear waste through this region. Council now wants to consult with those groups further before making a decision. Basilios Bellows explains. A protest before Monday's City Council meeting, where a group of concerned citizens voiced their opposition to transporting nuclear waste through the region. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Nuclear waste has got to go. Around 50 people were involved in the demonstration, ahead of a council discussion on a potential proximity principle for high-level nuclear waste. The principle would dictate keeping nuclear waste as close to its point of generation as possible. How dangerous this could be. The risk magnified times the frequency. Peter Lang with Nuclear Free Thunder Bay talked about what he sees as considerable risks that would come with transporting waste through the region. Freight train lost its cargo. The seriousness of something as radioactive as that. So you ask any, anybody, MTO, uh, OPP, uh, there will be, there will be truck accidents. There's no doubt about it. During the meeting, though, a surprise referral from Councillor Andrew Folds, who wanted more consultation with the groups represented at the protest before making a decision. Set up that meeting and then uh, it'll come back to us and we can have that debate. I don't think we should have the debate two nights. I think we can maybe <laughs> do this and then we'll come back and have that more broad discussion later. The decision comes as the Nuclear Waste Management Organization has shortlisted a site near Ignace and Wabagoon Lake Ojibwe Nation for nuclear waste disposal, with a decision expected next year. We've been shipping uh, nuclear material around the world for more than 50 years, more than 5 million kilometers, and there's never been an accident that's caused a release of radiation. The NWMO's Vince Ponca attended the meeting and stressed safety as his organization's top priority. Ponca vows that the project will move forward not only with consent from Ignace and Wabagoon Lake, but the region as a whole. I'd imagine we have a hard time moving forward if Dryden wasn't excited about this project and if Thunder Bay wasn't excited about this project. Right? It's not just the siting communities. Uh, it's really, in terms, of, if even in terms of labour demand, we're going to need to draw from the entire region. The NWMO is expected to make a decision on their nuclear waste burial site by late 2024. Vesilios Bellos. TBT News.